Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face um, using one brand only and today that brand is a drugstore brand by the way um, and also a cruelty free brand using all Milani products today. If you guys have been following me for a long time, Milani is one of my absolute favorite drugstore and just brands in general. I love Milani so much. If you guys follow me at all, then you know that Luminoso is my entire life. I would literally die for this blush. Um, if I could only have one makeup product for the rest of my life, I would pick Milani Luminoso. I love so many Milani products already, and I, I bought most of this stuff. I did have some stuff sent to me, but honestly, um, I just got on their PR list. I think I've only gotten two or three PR packages from them since, um, but pretty much everything else I've bought myself or I just bought some more stuff last night too. I think I think I'm only in this video I think I'm only gonna use one thing that was sent to me. So everything else I bought myself or I've had for a long time. <laughs> it's been following me for a long time too. I don't know if you remember I went through this like phase where when they came out with their liquid lipsticks, I literally went to every single drugstore within like a 25 mile radius of me and bought every single one that they had. <laughs> to so many Walmarts, I went to so many Walgreens, CVS, like everything. Like I just, I needed all of them and now I can't find them. I found like one. I have so many lipsticks that like, it, I think it's just buried underneath all of them. So I haven't used them in a long time, but I did pick up one of the new lip, newer lip products, I think. I think this is like newer. I haven't tried it before, so it's new to me. Also, I'm gonna probably say 99% sure that the foundation that I picked up probably won't match me. It might match me when I don't have a tan. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you know that I have the worst sunburn of my entire life on my entire back. I'm tan in the front. I am sunburned on my chest though, but you can't see that with this shirt. <laughs> um, my entire back is burned. Oh, how well this foundation will match me, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get into the video. Let's start off with my brows. Um, I've never tried this before. They had a couple different brow products. They had this pencil, a retractable pencil, a brow pomade, and then like a brow powder. I just went for the pencil. This is their Stay Put Brow Pomade 12 Hour Wear Brow Pomade Pencil in the shade Taupe because the one after this looked like it'd be either too dark or too warm. I can't remember why I didn't pick up the other one, but I got this one because I've been doing my brows a little bit lighter more ashier, I would say. So I went with taupe. Just brush. Ooh, I like the spoolie on this. It's really stiff. I hate when spoolies are like not stiff because I feel like it doesn't do the job. I need to put my hair out of my face. Just fill this in. So I like to start off. Oh, this color is actually really good. It doesn't look too dark or anything. It is pretty waxy, but it is like a pomade kind of pencil so I'm just doing like light strokes and I'm brushing it out oh yeah it feels like like a pomade I mean that's what it is but that's what it feels like it's like really waxy which I don't mind because that will make my brows like stick up a little bit make them a little bit more fluffy so I don't mind and I think the color is pretty good I like the spoolie on this pencil a lot it's like long and stiff. Not like my favorite pencil, especially from the drugstore, but it is cheap. I think this was like $5. Um, whenever I buy drugstore makeup, I always try to get it at Walmart. Um, Walmart has the cheapest drugstore prices. They're about maybe like 50 cents cheaper than Target and a whole lot of dollars cheaper than like CVS and stuff. So I always try to get my makeup at Walmart if I can because it's always going to be cheaper. Okay, so I did one brow. I actually really like it. It looks pretty good. It does feel like kind of waxy though, which I don't typically like, but I don't mind it. Um, the only thing is it like the pencil gets really dull really fast, so it doesn't stay sharp. But let me just do this one really quick. Go ahead and just uh, finished up my brows. I also cleaned them up with some concealer. Um, I feel like they look a little warmer than I normally do my brows, but I don't know. I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, they look okay. Not my favorite. This brow is kind of struggling over here, but let's ignore that um and i also put a little bit of concealer on my lid just to cover up the veins i used the retouch and erase light lifting concealer i actually had this from another video i did like a while back like a year ago i think so i still have that hopefully it's not um 
old. <laughs> um, I also had this from one of my other videos too that I did last year. I think that was the same video. This is their eyeshadow primer. Um, so I don't remember if I liked this or not. Just putting that on my eyes to prime them. I'm gonna set that really quick with a powder. Now that I have my eyes primed and set, um, Milani actually sent this to me like a week or two ago, I think. These are their new um, palettes. This is the Soft and Sultry and the Pure Passion. I'm using the Soft and Sultry one because they sent this little note in here and it said, we know you love warm tones, so we dare you to create a look with the Soft and Sultry palette. So I'm gonna use that one today because I don't really ever do cool tones and why not? Actually really, really pretty. Any palettes that look like that because I don't ever buy cool tones. <laughs> um, but they also have their Pure Passion palette, which is actually, I used this yesterday and it was really nice. I filmed a little Instagram video with it with my friend, so stay tuned. I don't know if it'll be up already <laughs> once I upload this. Go in with this shade right here, which is Tantation. It's like a really pretty tan ish color <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that in my crease and just kind of blend that and use that as our transition shade I have that as my first little transition shade I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is smoking hot it's like a cool toned brown which again I never use so I'm just going to kind of pack that on the outer corner, camping it on the outer corner, and then I'm like blending it into the crease, just so most of the pigment will be on the outer corner. It's actually a really nice shade, and it's blending out really nicely. A little bit upwards right here, just so we can kind of see, since I do have hooded eyes, I, like if I look straight, you can still see the color. But that also is blending out perfectly. I'm not having like any issues blending. This brow is struggling. <laughs> this brow looks okay, but this brow is struggling. Go in with this shade right here. That one is called After Hours. It's like a really cool toned, I mean, they're all cool tones, like cool brownish gray color. I'm packing that on right here. I really am tempted to do a halo eye, even though everyone always says I do halo eyes all the time. It's really, really pretty, and it's making me want to do a halo eye. <laughs> a clean brush, and then blending that out. Okay, guys, it happened. A halo eye happened, okay? I couldn't help myself. So I'm taking that same uh, darker shade and putting that right here. I don't know, like this color was just like, you need to do a smoky kind of halo eye. And I'm living, I really wanna put that shade like all on my lower lash line and just like really smoke it out. Darker shades, I really like to do halo eyes because I feel like the darkness, you get the smokiness from like the darker shade, but then like having that center lighter shade like really just brightens it up and doesn't make it as dramatic i feel like i'm not shade and really just putting that here and as always just blending it out with a clean brush it's a little bit darker there's also a black in here too which is nice i'm taking this shade which is untamed i'm gonna put that kind of the same right here just to darken it up i'm just gonna keep this like on the outer inner corner and then leave that other shade um, just in the crease take some concealer and I'm gonna do a halo cut crease So I'm just gonna cut like right here And then just bring that down And I will blend in the outer and inner corners like so That way everything's just like really blended Take a little bit of my eye candy cosmetics liquid sugar um if you guys don't have this you need it it's like my favorite thing in the entire world it's a glitter adhesive but i use it to just make things stick to my lids since i do have hooded lids hooded eyes hooded lids um it just helps from everything for, to like not transfer into your crease this shade right here which is come hither i'm gonna put this on the center Ooh, that is really pretty. It's like a taupey gray color. Just 
packing that on and then I will blend it out afterwards but I want to just place the color down first such a pretty color okay I'm gonna go back in with um, untamed and blend that into it I'm also gonna kind of define the cut crease up here just so it's a little bit more darker I went ahead and did the other eye it looks so pretty I'm gonna take this shade called diamond and pearls I'm just gonna put that like right in the center of that just to kind of brighten that up Did that do anything? I can't really see. I'm gonna wet it. Okay, I can see a little bit now. I'm gonna clean this up really quick with some makeup remover because I did have quite a bit of fallout um, from the center lid shade. Clean that up and then we'll do uh, foundation and everything. Going with primer. I've never tried this before. This is their Prime Perfection Face Primer. This is the hydra hydrating one. This literally feels empty. Oh. I thought it was open. Thank God it wasn't open. Everything at Walmart was like open. <laughs> That's like the only thing that sucks about Walmart is like everything's always open or used already. So <sighs> this smells like something. It almost smells like I don't know. Like minty? Is it minty? I don't know what it smells like. It's strange going with foundation and like i said I, do, I don't think this is gonna match but it was either this one or like number five because that's all they had at walmart and like besides like the really light ones so i hope oh my god this is also used god damn it whatever i'm sure someone just watched it okay i hope i'm hoping um so i haven't used this foundation in like literally years i got it when it first came out and i remember it being too dark for me also like two yellow but that was before they like launched new shades so this one is number two natural i remember the first one was too dark for me but since i am tan right now i hope this will match me so i just took one pump mm, ah, i feel like it kind of matches me right now okay i feel like i did a good job and i'm just blending that out with a sponge damp sponge Okay, I feel like I did a really good job with the color match. Even though I didn't swatch it, I just looked at it and was like, I feel like this will match. One pump to see how far that will take me. Because I remember this foundation having pretty good coverage, so I didn't want like a super full coverage foundation look today. Like I did a really good match. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I'm just taking whatever's left, like on my forehead. I really never put foundation on my forehead, to be honest. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I really don't. Sometimes I will, but a lot of the times I won't. <laughs> Actually, really like the way this foundation looks. I put like only one pump, so I did like kind of a medium coverage, but it looks so good. Why did I never use this foundation? Well, I remember why I didn't use it because I didn't have a shade that matched me, but now that I'm tan, this one like matches me pretty well. Um, this is, like I said, number two natural. The one I had tried previously was Creamy Vanilla, I think the name was. Um, so for concealer, I'm taking the one that I used earlier that I mentioned for my eyes. Uh, this is the Retouch and Erase Concealer. Okay, that just spit. I remember hating the applicator of this because I just don't like applicators like this. But I'm using the shade Light. I'm just going to kind of dot that. I took too much. <laughs> Blend that out. That's a little light for this foundation, but whatever. I'm taking the other side of my damp sponge and kind of just blending whatever was left from the foundation into the concealer so it's not like super light. I'm gonna put a little bit of whatever was left over with the concealer on my chin just to kind of balance it out. I forgot to pick up a powder. I don't know why I didn't think of a powder, but I forgot to pick one up, so I just set my under eyes really quick with another powder. I'm gonna go in with bronzer now. I picked this one up. I really love their baked blushes, so I picked up one of their baked bronzers. This one is in Soleil. It looks a little warm and a little gold and a little shimmery or glittery, I should say, so I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm gonna start off really lightly and go from there. Really, really warm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm dusting off a lot. Okay, it's a little, a little warm. I 
a little warmer than I would go for bronzer so I'm just gonna take a very very light amount don't believe they had contour powders or anything at least I didn't see it at Walmart I think they did have like contour sticks but I know I don't like cream contouring or contour sticks like that so I didn't pick those up so I'm just gonna contour really quick off camera just um contour really quick and then I just baked my I contoured my nose and I'm baking my nose with powder I'm sorry I don't have those products you guys <laughs> I apologize um so I'm gonna go in with my favorite part my favorite product in the entire world Milani Luminoso the best blush on the entire planet um, it's just the best blush in the entire world. Like, this is the best blush I've ever tried. High-end, drugstore, doesn't matter. I've been using this since high school. Can't live without it. It's a highlight. I actually bought this last night and then I realized I had it. So now I have two of them. I'm probably going to return the one that I bought because I didn't use it. So this is the Afterglow Strobe Light Highlighter. And I actually haven't even used this. I've had it and I didn't even know I had it. I just found it right now. Um, so I'm just going to take that and see how it looks. Ooh, pretty. That's actually really, really pretty. Like, I'm shook. A lot of different shades of these two. Um, this one is the lightest one, and then there's a more, like, goldy one, and a little bit more of a darker gold, and then, like, more of a bronzier one, I think. But this one is really pretty. I like it. And on the tip of my nose. I'm going to go back with the palette and do my lower lash line. So we're going to go in. I told you guys I wanted to use that um, deeper shade over here for my lower lash line. But at first I'm going to take the shade Smoking Hot, which was this one. And put that down first. Now I'm going to go in with these two shades and just mix them. And put that down and smoke out this lower lash line. I know so many people have been like asking for cool tone palettes and stuff and this is such a good cool tone palette. Like I don't really like cool tones but this one is so pretty. Everything blended out really really nicely. It's a really good palette and being from the drugstore too, I really like it. Milani has such good palettes and I think these ones are $20 which isn't like the cheapest obviously like it's not like five or ten bucks, but for 20 bucks, I feel like this is so worth it. That uh, diamond and pearls shade, the middle shade, and put that on my inner corner. <gasps> that is really pretty. You guys know how I feel about a really bright inner corner. I live. Thought I picked up the mascara. I'm pretty sure I did. Like, I remember having it in my hand. It wasn't in the bag, though, so I don't know if I forgot to put it in the bag. But I remember it was in my hands when I was carrying everything. So I don't know what happened to the mascara. But, like, do you guys really care about mascara? I don't know. It's like two things I forgot. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna do lashes and mascara and stuff really quick, and then I'll come back to do my lips. Okay, so I went ahead and applied lashes. These are from Rouge and Rogue. They are the Lady Killer lashes. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Milani um, Spice Lip Liner. I've had this forever. This is like one of my favorite lip liners. So I'm just gonna kind of line my lips with this. Well, not kind of. I am lining my lips with this. <laughs> Blend that out. And I'm going to go in, oh I need to take this off, this is the um, Amour Shine Liquid Lip Color, this is in the shade Delight, it is a lip gloss, if I could open, ow, just me. Okay, so this is a little bit more metallic than I was going for. <laughs> um... Yeah, I just like don't really care for this gloss with this look at least. Um, it has a little bit of frostiness to it, which is giving me like 90s feels. Um, but maybe with like another look, I think it would look pretty. But with this one, I don't really care for it. So I'm going to just take that off. I need the like lip liner just kind of smudged out.
looks really pretty like just on its own lip liner even though it's a pencil it's really creamy and i'm just gonna actually take a little bit of like my lip balm and just put that over it to make it a little bit more um glossy i do this a lot with like lip liners i'll just put like my chapstick over it so let's take this out of my hair this is the finished look i love it I like I said I don't ever do cool tones so it's rare it's a rare occasion when I do um and I actually really really like this palette like if I'm gonna use any cool tones I'm gonna use this palette because I think it's really nice they're not like super super unflattering cool tones like I feel like these are really really flattering especially if you're like me and you like more warm tones <laughs> I think if you want to like venture out into like cool tones and stuff I think you'll like this palette a lot it has really good payoff it has good blendability like the pigment is nice like everything is just it's just a really nice palette and I think it's worth the $20 and um if you get it like on their websites I think they do have like sales and stuff sometimes if you didn't want to like get it at Walmart or something or just like kind of wait foundation is bomb like why did I wait so long to get like another shade because my skin looks really really good it doesn't feel heavy it feels really light on the skin um and my skin just looks really nice uh I like this highlighter you guys already know the blush is my favorite, so that's no surprise. Um, the brow pencil, uh, will I use it again? Probably not. <laughs> um, and this lip liner is like one of my favorite lip liners ever, so I loved it. What else? That bronzer, maybe for like a different look, but when I was using cool tones, I don't think it's really going with the cool tone look today because it's pretty warm. Um, but it blended out nicely. It didn't, if I use like a light hand, it actually looks really nice on the skin. Um, the primer, I like it. It was pretty hydrating. I think it went well with the foundation. Um, this eyeshadow primer, I have used it before and I do like it. The concealer is really nice. It's not creasing or anything. Nope, it's not creasy. It doesn't look weird or anything, so that's good. Overall, my skin looks bomb. Um, I'm really happy with everything. Oh yeah, this gloss, I have to try it with another look. I don't know how I feel about it, but everything else... I really really like and honestly I'm not surprised Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands I'm always really happy with their products and stuff I think I would say pick up the palettes the this is the soft and sultry one but I used the pure passion one yesterday which is the more reddish tones and warm tones I like that one their gilded desires palette that they came out with I think last month is really bomb and even like their little um palettes that are like five shadows or something in there those are bomb too. I remember I did a video on that like last year and I really liked them. Yeah, I would say pick up the foundation if you haven't tried it because this foundation looks really good. I'm pretty shook. So, um, by the way, this video is not sponsored. If you couldn't tell, I bought most of this stuff besides like the palette. <laughs> um, everything else I purchased with my own money. So, uh, yeah, I love Milani. Milani is a bomb ass brand. They're drugstore. They're cruelty free. They got bomb ass people behind the company. Um, they got good ass products like they're that bitch they have a lot of vegan products as well there's like a list on their website i think that uh, lists the vegan products if you haven't tried luminoso yet what are you doing it's the best blush in the entire world you need it which it guys comment down below of what brand you guys want to see me do a full face of next if you like this video then make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye